There are many types of artificial leathers, including PU leather. In today's video, we're going to find out exactly what PU leather is, along with its pros and cons. Are you looking for a new office chair? BTAD TV is your number one office chair resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. When shopping for leather products, it can be hard to determine the difference between real leather and fake leather. Some people may be looking for genuine leather, but some people may want to take the cheaper route and go with artificial leather. PU leather is the most common artificial leather type. But what exactly is PU leather? PU leather, or polyurethane leather, is an artificial leather made of thermoplastic polymer used to make furniture and shoes. 100% PU leather is artificial and is considered vegan. There are some types of PU leather, such as bicast leather, that uses genuine leather but puts a layer of polyurethane on top of it. This type of PU leather uses the fibrous parts of cowhide left over from making genuine leather and then puts a layer of polyurethane on top of it. PU leather can also go by a few different names. When looking at tags, you may see things such as PU leather, bicast leather, split leather, bonded leather, reconstituted leather, and corrected grain leather. If you are on the fence in deciding if you want to use artificial leather over genuine leather, you may want to look at the pros and cons of artificial leather. Starting with the pros, PU leather costs less than genuine leather because it is easy to manufacture. It is also better for sustainability because it uses fewer resources to make. PU leather also does not absorb water, which makes it easy to clean. If you're looking for a vegan alternative, PU leather is a great option. PU leather also comes in a variety of colors and styles. Also, PU leather does not dry out like genuine leather does. PU leather also comes with a list of cons. PU leather can look fake or synthetic and isn't as breathable as genuine leather. Because it is fake, it can smell of chemicals or plastic. It also doesn't last as long as genuine leather because it can easily crack, puncture, or tear. Over time, PU leather doesn't develop the same luster or patina as genuine leather does. Some PU leathers can also contain some genuine leathers in them, which makes them not vegan. Depending on whether you're looking for artificial leather or genuine leather, it is best to be able to tell the difference between the two. The main difference you'll find is going to be the cost. PU leather will be less expensive than genuine leather because it is easier to produce. PU leather will also have a distinct smell to it. Fake leathers will smell like plastic or chemicals, which genuine leather does not. Doing a water test is another easy way to figure out if it is real or fake leather. While doing a water test isn't typically advised on products you don't own, genuine leather will absorb the water, while fake leather will not. If you have a keen eye, you may be able to tell the difference between the two just by looking at the material. If you are looking for a cheaper option, something vegan, and comes in a variety of colors, PU leather will be a great option for you. If you are looking for genuine leather, PU leather will be something you'll want to avoid. There are numerous ways to tell the differences between genuine leather and fake leather to help you in the furniture buying process. Like this video if you found it helpful and be sure to subscribe to our channel because we have a ton of new office chair content coming out soon. If you want to learn more about office chairs, visit us at the Learning Center at btod.com. Thanks for watching.